Yo, peoples, Sony over the weekend drops a bombshell via a Wall Street Journal article. They apparently are doubling down on the hardcore next gen. How does Microsoft respond? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. So what is it that I'm talking about? What am I babbling about now? Well, if you haven't heard, if you live under a rock, Sony has come out with a bombshell, bombshell article. After the midst of the breakdown within the Xbox community, um, with Xbox hardcore gamers, or Windows gaming, excuse me, rather, hardcore gamers, feeling the burn of this E3 and not sure if the Xbox brass or the Windows gaming brass is connected to them anymore. In the midst of all this, here comes this article. All right, now what does this article actually say? Well, let's get into it. The article. Um, that I'm quoting from is from Screen Rant, but they're actually citing the interview that Sony conducted with the Wall Street Journal. So let's get into it. All right, this this article that I'm reading is titled "Sony's Next Generation Console Being Made with Hardcore Gamers in Mind." Okay, so a new report it says says that Sony's next PlayStation console will focus on what they think hardcore gamers want. Like hard, and like high-end hardware and top-tier gaming experiences, Sony seems to be going down a path similar that it had in 2013 with the PlayStation 4 was first announced. Considering the PlayStation's brand successful for the overall company, it's unsurprising that they're going to be taking a relatively similar approach with the console that will likely be called the PlayStation 5. Now the article further reads, in a report with the Wall Street Journal, Sony's next console is said to include top of the line internals, major third party and uh, third party publishers and jaw dropping AAA experiences from their first party studios. Sony's focus is on giving hardcore gamers the experience they want, hoping that this will continue to set them apart from the competition. In addition to these details, the PlayStation 5 is said to also include backwards compatibility with the entire PlayStation 4 library. Wow. Support for current PSVR models and a solid state drive. PlayStation Now support and an appealing price point for consumers. With The Last of Us Part 2, Death Stranding, and Ghost of Tsushima coming down the pipeline, it wouldn't be surprising to see each of them make it onto the PlayStation console at some point, delivering on its first party promises. Wow. So, in light of that, you did have some actions from Microsoft. They did respond. How did they respond? You say MM2K? <laughs> well, they made an announcement of Games with Gold, which was trash. And then my homeboy, the guy that I want to take over, really, to just tell Phil, Phil, go ahead, man. Go to the ESRA. Go do your thing. Go go spread love and joy to all the gamers, no matter where they at. I'll, I, I got this from here. Even my boy. <laughs> Y'all, the best he could do is send out a tweet or uh, an abstract tweet of Halo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they really ain't got what much to work with. They ain't got much to work with, man. Considering what the the, the decisions that are being made at the top, so I can't even blame my boy Mike Gibaro. At least he's trying. Look, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. I'm not the biggest Sony fan. You know what I'm saying? Their catalog of games that they like to, you know, stamp within their footprint don't do it for me as far as gameplay is concerned. Okay. It's, real, it, 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 it's focused on story and dramatics, and I'm not that type of gamer. That's me. Therefore, when Xbox hit the scene and started introducing the gameplay focus that I like and the more gritty combat, the more gritty type games that I like, again, I was invested in the ecosystem. I bought it for that reason, as did many. Now, now that we're in this 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 kerbuffle, or, or, or however you say it, right? That we are in 
pretty much since Phil took over and more notably after Crackdown 3 and definitely after this past E3 in 2019 with all of us fighting each other within the Xbox community, right? This is what we're being told by the Xbox people as far as being confident on what they're going to do in the future. We're being told that on a big stage, they didn't know that we wanted to see big games on the stage. We're also being told that consoles don't matter as far as product outreach to people like me and likely people like yourself. And we're also being told that as far as gritty, hardcore content, they chose not to show it because it's more important to them to show that games are more than headshots and kills. <laughs> to rectify things with their hardcore, that was more important, right? However, in contrast, you got Sony who after receiving that attempted backlash when they did that Last of Us 2 trailer, they just simply said, hey look, we make hardcore games and we make them for adults. So guess what? Deal with it. And in light of that, I may not be the biggest fan of Sony's product, but because they're willing to actually come out and even recognize the hardcore gamer in a positive light instead of just say, hold on, hold on, hold on, but sign up for Game Pass or sign up for my subscription service. Being that they're able to positively do outreach to the hardcore gamer, you know what? I'm very interested to see what they have to offer, as should many. You damn right. <laughs> and that's it from your boy, MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. You know what I mean? Like I always tell you, you can come with me or come at me. It don't matter to your boy. With that said, if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me on the corner every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your people, Snow Bunny. Dirt Griggity, Neethals, it's called Scram Punks. We air it on Dirt Griggity's channel every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just look up hashtag Scram Punks for more information on that. Hey, yo, support my brethren, the broadband bullies. We out here doing a damn thing. Check out that Discord link. Check out that Patreon link. Check out that gear, because it's fly. And yo, last but not least, the boy is working on a very big project. It's called the NRO Project, okay? What we're trying to do there is we're trying to put a big spotlight on hardcore gaming, hardcore martial arts movies and cinema, and hardcore anime. You know what I'm saying? Check us out on now the new channel for the Hard Knock Digital Culture, MM2K's channel at twitch.tv. Check me out at MightyMost2000. So that's twitch.tv forward slash MightyMost2000. Check it out and make sure that you either follow, subscribe, whatever, so you don't lose. Or, or, or felt fall behind and get notified whenever we were dropping live content. We got a lot of interviews, big names coming through, everything. You know what I'm saying? Something you've never seen before. And with that said, hey, yo. <laughs> it's looking rough out here in these gaming streets for Microsoft. But we're going to see what they're going to do, man. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. <laughs>